Okay guys, this is how you enable the overlay on RetroArts and also the splash screen when you launch in the game. So all you have to do is you're gonna download the files that I'm providing. Then you're gonna log in onto your Raspberry Pi. You're going to um, get this folder right here. Once you open this right here, you're gonna get this folder. So we're gonna we're gonna um drop these folders right here. So let's go to this is the location that you gotta go to. RetroPie. You can either just drop the folder and overwrite everything, or if you wanna do it manually, it's up to you. So this is right here, this is the two locations. You can see. You're gonna drop this there, so I'm gonna just go back. And then you drop on RetroPie. And it's gonna ask you to override to say yes, uh, but keep in mind when you override, you might have um, some of your configuration is gonna change. So if you wanna do that, or you wanna do it manually, I mean, individually, that's fine. But this is how I'm gonna do it. I mean, I already did it, so I'm just gonna skip. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna write everything to the, to the Raspberry Pi. Then you can just go to your TV. So this is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go to the TV. Then oh, we're gonna have to go to the enable enable the splash. Okay, we're gonna go to configurations and tools, and then all the way down where it says run commands, and we're gonna enable the launch menu R. We're gonna enable that. Now we can just uh, back up from here. Back up one more time. Exit. So now, if we did everything right, when you try to launch a game you're gonna get the splash screen right here and you're also gonna get the the vessels activated already but like i said if the vessel doesn't work for you like it's not in the same you know if, if if it doesn't fit with your screen, all you have to do is just go to the retro R settings. And we're gonna go to settings right here. Be quiet, face. And we already had the main, you wanna change it, I have a few different ones. So now we're gonna go to video. And then you can just um, just you know move this around to fit your screen, and that's pretty much it. And like I said, just make sure you know if you're gonna overwrite everything, just make sure everything is working right for you, or just do it individually. And make sure you know what you're doing. Like I said, because you might break stuff if you don't know what you're doing.